All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 30. And in this lesson, we're gonna be solving the add to with change unknown math stories. It's a type of subtraction where you have like three plus something is equal to eight. And the idea is that problem can be solved with a subtraction problem, like eight minus three gives us that same number. So to give you the idea of what we're talking about, um, the in, of all of these different styles of addition and subtraction, uh, we're looking specifically at the add to change unknown, and this is where we're at. We want to teach them all. That, uh, we want to teach all the different ways to think about addition and subtraction for our students, so they don't get into this very limited rut of thinking of subtraction only as a one kind of subtraction, like generally take away. Uh, we want students to be flexible mathematicians, and that's why out of all of these methods of addition and subtraction, we're focusing on all of them. But this lesson, in, in particular, we're looking at add to with change unknown. So here it says Jack can invite eight friends to his birthday party. He makes three invitations. How many invitations does he still need to make? And for some reason, uh, I kind of feel like we're taking a little bit of a step backwards because they're implying they want us to model it in the number bond with dots rather than numbers. So we'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's our eight friends that he takes to his party. He makes three invitations. One, two, three, I suppose. I'll do it over there. How many invitations does he still need to make? One, two, three, four, five. So there's our model. And if we were going to number bond that, put that in a number bond, our eight would be the whole. He makes three. And then how many invitations does he still need to make? That's five right here. So our number sentence would be 3 plus what equals 8. Now some students might put in a 5. I would accept either one of those, but I think t um, Eureka Math is actually expecting the number 5 there. So 3 plus 5 equals 8. Another way to think of that as subtraction would be 8 minus 3 equals 5. We want 8 minus 3 equals 5 rather than 8 minus 5 equals 3 because in the question we are told he makes three invitations. So that's why 8 friends, 3 invitations. So that's why we specifically want 8 minus 3 is equaling 5. So how many invitations does he still need to make? That would be 5. Last slide for this video, more of the same. There are 10 students in Jim's class, 7 bought lunch, and the rest brought lunch. And so we're going to model that. So let's see. Let's first model it with 10 frames. There's our 10 students. And 7 bought lunch at school. So the rest brought lunch from home. So the idea would be, um, what would the number sentence be? Well, it could be 7 plus something equals 10. And of course, we're looking at 3 as being our missing value. And in this point of the game, I would not freak out if my students put a box or if my students put a 3. I think at this point, we can accept either of those uh, answers. Uh, but we do want the 7 and the 10 in those locations. Although, really, we can have students swap these because because of the commutative property of addition. But I think the most typical answer would be 7 plus box equals 10. What would that look like as subtraction? It would be 10 minus 7 equals 3. And the number bond would be 10, 7, and 3. And of course, these two could be swapped if students wanted to. How many students brought lunch from home? And the answer, three. And that wraps up first grade module one, lesson 30, where we 
are solving add to with change unknowns and taking that addition statement and turning it into a subtraction statement.